scare myself just thinking about you. I scare myself when I'm without you. I scare myself the moment that you're gone. I scare myself when I let my thoughts run. A guy named Burton Malkiel came up with an idea of uh, a drunk in an open field at night during a new moon. Each step was random and independent from the one before. And the analogy has been applied to that of the stock market, wherein that the each subsequent day price is a function of the next day's news, which is substantially random. And studies, especially Jensen's study and a whole bunch of others, including my own, repeatedly demonstrate that that is true. So I began thinking, and not the first time, that uh, is this always the case? And back during that string of three years in a row when we had a down market, another down market, and another down market, 2001, 2003, you know, I tested it and... Sure enough, it was at the limits, but it seemed to be within the range of the normal variation of the way stock prices would behave in a random walk. But this time, we have a decline in the stock market of 50%, whether you look at the Dow or the S&P 500, and that's occurred within a year. And I looked back and I said, you know, that doesn't occur very often. So I thought, let's hold this to a good statistical test. So I wrote a computer program, as I want to do, simulating this. And I uh, also wrote a little paper, which you can find available for download at my Dr. C. Invests MySpace.com site, where you can find my other associated graphics. And uh, did a simulation and uh, some analyses. You see the paper here as we go along in the background. And uh, the first part of it starts off with each price is the result of the previous price uh, times uh, 1 plus the rate of return, which is uh, on a, especially a daily basis, normally distributed. It might have a positive mean. And uh, found that, uh, oh my goodness, it seems to be that we are in an anomalous situation in terms of the markets as we transition from 2008 into 2009. And if you look at these distributions as we get into a yearly basis, the uh, statisticians, or statisticians among you, will note that uh, they start to be non-symmetric, which is to be expected given that prices can never go below zero, which is to say the returns can never go below minus 100%. But on the other hand, you can have the prices go through the ceiling. And anybody who recalls Google or Berkshire Hathaway knows what I mean. Well, in terms of doing a simulation, I ran them uh, with uh, various uh, daily distributions, one almost up to 2% and 0.1% daily increments. And we find that the annual standard deviations turned out as expected. And in terms of the numbers we've seen in the past, there were no occurrences of a market falling by 50% within one year's time, which, to put this politely, is anomalous, or less so, I scare myself with my results. Well, as we look at the obligatory academic references in the background, well, what do we make of this? Um, a normal random distribution, a random walk, if you will, is the result of random events. And I think you will admit that what we've gone through in the last year, and I do invite you to see my commentary on the 2008 financial crisis elsewhere, that we should not be surprised that this is a new world.